picking it out. I'm watching the last dance <laughs> on a, on Netflix, and I think it's which is phenomenal. I mean, I grew up. I had the I had Jordan posters in my room, Rodman, Pippen, all of them. You know, they were just they were outstanding. It was such a great time in the uh, mid to early to mid nineties. Uh, but I hear Michael Jordan in a car, um, and he's being recorded. They have a lot of backstage footage for all of you that haven't seen. It's called The Last Dance, and it's really long, but I think it was part five. Um, you had put together a deal with Reebok, um, and Reebok had made these uniforms – uh, for the 92 USA Dream Team, which Jordan was a big part of, to say the least. And uh, all of a sudden in the in the thing, Jordan's being filmed, and he says, Harvey Schiller, what a dick. Yeah, you call me a dick. <laughs> and he says, the guy who said, if we don't wear our uniforms, we can't accept our gold medal and all that stuff. They said they are going to try to hide the Reebok on it but they can't hide it like I'm going to hide it. They are in for a big fucking surprise. Yeah. And then you sent out a tweet on May 3rd, 2020. Well, I bet the Dream Team members still have their Olympic Reebok award uniforms. Uh, this, first of all, watching this documentary, I had a whole new perspective on Michael Jordan and his ego. Now, I know he's one of the best ever, you know, still to this day. But he... His agent, I do business with his agent, David Falk. So he's a good friend. But a little bit of history there. Um, Reebok outfitted the entire team. That's about 700, more than 700 people. Yeah. So if you, if you were a judo player or a wrestler your all your stuff was provided by Reebok. Right. You know, jackets, t-shirts, hats, everything. The dream team had was supplied by Champion. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting that deal because the chairman of the company that owned Champion also owned Haynes Underwear, which Michael Jordan was a would appear in their ads. And so there was there was a lot of things going on behind the scenes. He never complained about champion as being the uniform for the games, right? Yeah. We actually gave out Haynes underwear too to the to the uh, athletes. So so I met with the team. Now I'm six four, but when you meet with the team, you feel like you're a midget. Sure. You're, and I said. Charles Barkley was on the team, for example. Charles Barkley got on a chair and said to the team, you better listen to this guy. I knew him when, he, when I was at Auburn. So imagine that meeting. And yeah. I said, if you don't wear the Reebok uniform, the award uniform was a separate uniform. If you don't wear the Reebok award uniform, I'm going to make sure you don't get the gold medal. Now imagine, now these are all professional athletes. So I called up uh, Phil Knight. He didn't want to talk about it. Mm. He, he didn't care. He said, that's up to their agents. He's, in fact, he quoted, he said, who does Harvey think he is? Janet Reno? Janet Reno was the attorney general of the United States. So right. all the, I was the bad guy. Yeah. Impressed. So Jordan goes to one of the assistants with the team and says, get me an American flag. This is on Sunday of the award. I know who she, Joanne's a good friend of mine. So she says, where do I find the flag in Barcelona? Sunday <laughs> afternoon. Uh, so she went in the stands and bought it from a fan. Oh, wow. That's where he got his flag. And he draped it over his Reebok uniform. And, you know, there actually was something that happened before that. Dave Gavitt was the president of USA Basketball. He came to see me and he said, we got a real problem here with Jordan. And I said, well, did you see 
Mary Jo Fernandez was a tennis player. And when she had, when she wore her Reebok uniform, the flaps of the uniform were open and covered the Reebok. I said, just tell the guys to unzip the jacket. It'll flap open. You won't see Reebok. So he went and told the team that, but Jordan didn't like that. He didn't care. Some, if you look at the pictures, some of the players have it flap open. Mm-hmm. So, you know, at the end of it, a couple of them became sponsored by Reebok, by the way. I don't remember which ones, but it turned out <laughs> to be financially successful. Uh, I, I know Jordan. I mean, we're not friendly, but we know each other and yeah. all that's passed. And as I said, his agent is a good friend of mine. Yeah. But, um, some for some of my friends says Dick stands for director in charge. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you can't the number of people who called me. Now, first of all, Jerry Reinsdorf was the owner of the Bulls. He's a good friend. He calls me up several weeks before it airs on ESPN, and they had sent him a copy because of the Bulls. And he says to me, Boy, you really are a dick. So what are you talking about? He said, even Jordan thinks you're a dick. I had no idea what he was talking about until people started calling me. Have you watched this program? No. You know, I'm also in the one that they did on uh, Lance Armstrong. Mm. He didn't call me a dick. But he he was in my office when he won, uh, you know, he was a triathlete, won national championship. And when I was head of the Olympic committee, he came to see me. Mm. 